I was tagged to do a video by Coco Noel. And so here we go. And for this first part, um, three channels that inspire me. I'm going to go old school because these channels I have been watching for, oh my goodness, see I have a hard time sitting here staring at a camera. I go down rabbit trails, so forgive me. If I could stare at my screen, I'd be okay. But to sit and look at this, I feel ridiculous. But anyway, three channels that inspire me. Going old school. Um, I have been sub to them and viewing them for a lot of years now. Probably six plus, I would say, somewhere around there. And my first one is Bear Prepper. If any of you guys were around, then you probably miss her like I do because... There's not many videos that can, that come out anymore by her, and I do miss her. Um, she taught me about dehydrating. I really didn't know anything about it then. Um, and not only does she teach you how to dehydrate, but then how to make a meal out of what you dehydrate. I mean, she was just my teacher for a long time there. How to can. Um, even things that the FDA says are not safe to can that many of us can anyway. Um, she does freeze drying. She did gardens, um, animals, processing her animals, um, water tanks, all kinds of things. I, I know her channel is still up, so I would still recommend her. Very nice lady. It was always great to answer your questions or you know, anything she could help you with. So Bear Prepper was number one. My second one is Homesteading Ways, Sandra. Um, when I started coming around to the herbs, and i sorry, I say um a whole lot. Seems to be one of my favorite words for some reason. But Homesteading Ways with Sandra, she taught me a lot about herbs. She's one of those kind of women that can be walking around outside and Oh, look, there's comfrey, and oh, look, over here is St. John's work. And I'm getting there, um, but she taught me much of this along the way, how to make tinctures and those kind of things. Again, I learned so much from her. She's also got a Facebook page. She did have a website, but I believe now that she shut it down. Um, see, there's that um stuff again. But a very nice lady, always responds to your comments. Um, does herbs and gardens and cooking. They just um, sold their house they were in and they're fixing to move to a cabin. So they're kind of in this middle existence right now. But another one, I just learned so much from her. I still follow her to this day. In fact, I find sometimes we're both making the same things at the same time now, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm going to cut out some of these arms. But anyway, I will be putting these names down here in the front so that y'all know where to go to. And my last channel that I would say that inspires me is Phyllis Stokes. SouthernFrugal.com is the website. This lady, wow, godly woman, cooking, and she stays so busy. She outworks me 10 to 1 and just so kind and, and nice and there are so many variations of videos there I would say go and check her out very sweet lady you'll like her I'm sure um, they just bought an RV they're selling their home they're going to build a new home up in the mountains she and her husband and it's just a wonderful channel with really really nice people the next thing, three things I'm good at. This one was kind of hard for me. And I was talking about this with a friend of mine this morning because I'm like, so she gave me one, but we'll put that one later. I think the first thing that I think I'm good at is I'm good at finding solutions to problems. I am one of those who kind of fly by the seat of my pants with a lot of things. And sometimes that ends up good and sometimes Mm -hmm. But when it ends up there, mm, I just am one that this is my saying I use. I pull up my big girl panties and I find a way to work it out, you know. And it seems to work well for my life for the most part. Not 
not too many epic failures for the most part, but um, so that's what I think I'm good at is I like finding, I mean, whether it's, you know, putting nylon screen on my dehydrator tray to save a few bucks of not buying something else or whether really it's a life circumstance. Um, just, I seem to do good in that. Number two, I'm creative. I have been for a long time. I like different outlets of creativity. I used to dabble with, um, any of you guys remember Paint Shop Pro and Animation Shop? Still do it somewhat. I just like doing it. I'm very um, perfection orientated when it comes to that. And if I find I make a mistake I can't correct, I just delete it and start all over. You know, there's another word for that, but I'll just skip that word because this is family friendly. And, uh, uh, you know, I like to do crafting things. I used to work with wood. I like refinishing wood. I like doing my herbs. I like doing oils and tinctures and creams. And there's just a lot of things like that I like doing. I like a creative outlet and things to do with my hands. And the third thing, and not many are really going to know this on this channel, but I am good at talking to people. I have had a lot of various life experiences, not all aimed at the good side since I've been 10 years old. And um, God has given me a heart just to minister to people, you know, to give them that encouragement that you can get through this, that it's not, that things are never easy. Most things are really never easy. They're very hard. But, you know, if I can get through them, anyone can because I'm no more special than anybody else is, you know. And so that is something that I do spend a lot of time doing. Just letting people know where their faith and their hope lies because it's not in other human beings, people, governments. It's not, you know, there's one hope, one king, one redemption. May he return soon. Okay, the next thing. Three things that excite or inspire me. Hey, sweetheart, that's my kitty. Um, yeah, can we please stop this till later, please? Thank you so much. Three things that excite or inspire me. I like learning. I am so excited when I get outside and I learn a new plant or a new herb or see something like that. I love learning. I like learning how things work. Um, I think that all flows into the creativity things, but I love learning. Um, not only do I love learning, but I absolutely love putting what I've learned to work. I mean, that's all part of it. I think that's very fun for me. Challenges inspire me. Um, I, I like the challenges. I just really do. They're not all easy by any means, but that's okay because when you've met that challenge, you know, you feel that accomplishment inside you and, and that inspires me. The other thing that inspires me are the scriptures. You know, I am who I am. I'm not going to change that. And that's the things that inspire me the most. I love the scriptures. So there you go on that one. And my next one is three things I do to relax. I'm a music junkie. I love music. Um, sitting, sitting in a chair just while I'm doing something else with my hands or up dancing around. I love music. I find it very relaxing. Anyone that, that likes music like I do, you're absolutely going to understand what I mean. It just refreshes you and, and puts bounce in your step. And to me, that's relaxing. I also like walking, especially when my mind is troubled or something. I really like to just get out and walk. I'm not telling you I'm running marathons or walking even fast. I just take relaxing walks. I stop and, and pay attention to what's around me. You know, if you pass by people on the way, 
give them a kind word because you know when you pour out you get refilled that's just how it works even if it's just a smile because maybe you're the one that needs to smile that day another thing that relaxes me is I really love to have a cup of tea I like to take my herbs and combine them to see what flavors and tastes I can get and ha sitting down just sitting down with that cup of tea to me I find very relaxing so there you go all that's left for this video now is I am supposed to tag three people and so I have my three people and I hope they'll participate and there's reasons I'm sorry I'm sticking to my chair there's reasons that I, ta I that I chose these three <clears throat> I number one I really like all their channels but they're all each unique but the same in some ways home in the sticks you know the first time I watched that channel I saw a marriage proposal and I was bawling I'm happy for them you know and I'm like how cool was that but then you keep watching you know and and seeing seeing the gardening or whether it's even fixing tools because you know what I'm a hands-on person I do fix things as well too I you know if I can't do it, I will ask for help, but chances are I'm going to try it first. And I appreciate those things that come through with Home in the Sticks. I appreciate how he does his gardening, and I appreciate his profession. Very nice man. And so Home in the Sticks, I'm tagging you. Number two is McCray Family Homestead. You know, <laughs> I like when people are real and people are honest it just makes my day and when you find those people that are compatible with sorry I keep having problems staring at the camera when you find people that are compatible and doing the things like you're doing you know and you're learning stuff from them and hopefully they're learning something from you I just look forward to seeing more of their videos and uh, McCray Family Homestead. And my third one is Little Village Homestead. Again, um, you know, some channels you just get on there and it just feels like home. Very nice people. And I enjoy their channel very much. And so I hope you guys will go and check them all out. But I'm tagging Home in the Sticks, McCray Family Homestead, and Little Village Homestead. So hope you all will participate. I think that's all I got. And I hope this video isn't too long. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep looking up. God bless you.